Yeah. I have to ask you a question. Is it pink? Uh, is what pink? I'm gonna miss my. You pink. know what I'm asking. Come on, real quick. Is yeah. it pink? I need to know. Did she did she answer the question? Do y'all remember when flirting with people consisted of telling them, "Hey, yo, you look good today," or "Damn, shawty, you fine as hell." Okay, maybe the barking was <laughs> unnecessary, but you get the point. We would flirt at each it. other with regular compliments, but ever since the rise of TikTok, people have been complimenting women in a new way. I can't wait for it to get banned. Since 2016, TikTok has been showing yeah. us some of the greatest forms of entertainment, and what others not so great. With over Wait, wait. And others not so great. With over Hold on, hold on. That's a real video? That wasn't that wasn't satire? That's, That's a real a video? video? With over 1 billion users, TikTok is literally part of this generation's daily routine. You wake right? up, you eat some food, you scroll for about 30 minutes, and boom, it's nighttime. But I want to highlight a trending pandemic Whoa. to this app. We have a new nasty trend of failure, or what I'll call TikTok 445. Apparently, Whoa. there's a new way of rizzing up girls by asking girls if their cheek is bubblegum pink. Yes, That's a crazy way of saying that. TikTok and not just Discord. And through the years, we have been seeing crazy crazy comments such as calling women mommy, calling people NPCs, and quite literally over abusing the word Riz. There's a Riz for everything, but this new bubblegum pink trend tops it all by far. Oh, so here's the definition that. of bubblegum pink. Bubblegum pink is a term rooted in pedophilia in order to yet again make fun of women. Bubblegum pink vaginas are associated with young underage oh. girls that have not gone through puberty yet. So if you're what the fuck? See, now I know the origin of that shit. That shit nasty. Nasty. What the fuck? They should not be asking girls this anymore. Like, he has told us the truth. Now, let's let's reflect on our actions. Let's never do that again. That shit just scarred me for life. So, if you're constantly asking girls if their coochie is bubblegum pink, guess what? You're basically asking if their coochie matches a kid's private part. So, in my ah! professional analysis, y'all know I got my degree from Harvard. You guys need help. Like, look at this TikTok. A man commented bubblegum pink on a video of my niece. She was like eight months in it. People are asking in eight months. No, 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 no. I refuse to believe it. I have no words. Like, I can't even function anything to say. I can't. I'm broken. Welcome pink on the video of my niece. She was like eight months in it. People are asking an eight month girl if her shit is bubblegum pink. <sighs> You need a psychological evaluation. At Cut this it point. out. Okay, look, I'll be honest. Cut I didn't it out. even know what bubblegum pink meant. I had to search it up. But even away from all of that, why are you asking girls what color coochie they have? Is that like the new secret way of telling girls you have zero hoes? Imagine taking a girl <laughs> out on a date to some lovely dinner. And as you're having a conversation with her, you ask her, you know what? I'll be honest. I loved our date, but I have to ask, is your coochie bubblegum pink? It's so corny. It's so corny. It's been corny, but now it's like worse. It's just disgusting. You know what I'm saying? They don't be asking about balls or wrinkly or not. I'm pretty sure everybody has wrinkly balls, but you know, they don't be asking. Is your bubble bubblegum pink? <laughs> yeah, buddy, that's the end of that conversation. How did people take an innocent candy and associate that with the color of cookie? And to make matters even worse, they uh, added hex codes to these compliments. So instead of asking, is it bubblegum pink? They would say, is it FF0098? Because that the hex code is literally the same color as bubblegum pink. Just a that slight dedication. suggestion. Maybe you guys could put all this energy and creativity and put it into an actual job. Then we have the term, it's grippy. Now, grippy just ah. refers to the tightness of the cooch area. And there's many variations of this. It's crazy because like during all of this weird shit, I was not paying attention to social media. But I remember that Nadia clip where like she flipped the phone and her pussy held the phone. How the fuck did she do that? The real Grip Reaper, Grippy Grippy, who's the grippiest of them all. Do you have the Optimus Squeeze feature? What? Like, how are y'all this creative? Like, one. I'm convinced some of y'all have never actually interacted with a 3D, not 2D woman. Because I promise you, if you see a girl and the first thing you think of is, man, I just know she's the real Grip Reaper. No, yeah, no. Yeah, Prepare yeah, for the yeah. biggest restraining <laughs> order. See, the thing is, it's already down bad to comment about any ladies grippiness but a lot of the times this these comments are weird. also on minors but so hypothetically speaking what if the people commenting are also minors does it matter like when we were growing up as kids i feel like the only type of text we would send is what you do in every hour how do people even create this new terminology i swear grippy used to mean the grip on your shoe or a skateboard now it refers to private parts apparently and age doesn't matter to these commenters like look this is a tiktok of an innocent no no they did not do it they did not do it bro tiktok needs to be outlawed and abolished this shit is horrible you see nothing crazy going on she's just playing around making a tiktok and here are the grippy comments grip is 10 out of 10 from experience innocent until proven gripping the gripper 9000 and god forbid anyone ever searches up it's grippy on the search bar because you will be met with it's grippy child. it's grippy girl 
It's grippy, Nadia. Wait, hold up. Who is out I here trying to search I told Nadia the Bitmoji's grippiness? Y'all are down bad. Anyway, the fact that TikTok can't identify the lingo on its own app, allowing people to search for it's grippy child, that upcoming ban doesn't seem too bad after all. Then there's the hear me out comments. If you don't know what hear me out refers to, it's a phrase used in some internet subcultures to justify a taboo attraction. So basically liking something that isn't usually seen as attractive. What the fuck is this woman doing on my screen right now? So for example, hear me out, <laughs> hear me out, <laughs> and hear me out. What the yo, yo, man? never mind. Don't hear That's me out you. on that one. See, That's the thing with you. taboo attractions is that they're supposed to be of age. TikTok does not know this. Do you see this video of a child? And prepare for the comments. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. No, nigga, I am not going to hear you out. For once, I'm going to turn into Helen Keller. There's girls and boys saying hear me out. TikTok is just a cesspool of weirdness. Like, it's not just niggas being weird or the men's species, as they like to say it. They in on it, too. The bitches in on it, too. If you really want people to hear you out, then I recommend joining a help circle with the predators around your area. Or you can make a Minecraft channel on YouTube and start making money. Basically the same thing, am I right? Every day I ask myself, do Good people Lord. not care about this little thing called digital footprint anymore? I mean, yes, it's harder to find a TikTok account than a Twitter account, but imagine your TikTok comments resurfacing when you're getting a job. I could just imagine employers looking at point. people's accounts like, it says over here that you asked the girl if she has a grippy 9000. What do you mean by that? Boom, you're done. Liking children isn't only a taboo, point. it's pedophilia. I'm not gonna hear you out at all. I have no ears at this point. And if you're a grown ass man asking kids if it's grippy, like the great Playboy Cardi once said, bitch, stop breathing. The next term not being as crazy but still weird is the term mommy. Now the dictionary term of mommy is one's mother. Yeah, you see that definition right there? Just throw it in the garbage. Okay. That over there is fake. The it's more fake. accurate uh, description is a hot female version of daddy. How did y'all sexualize the words mommy and daddy? Now I can never call my mother mommy. The transitioning of mommy and daddy becoming weird to me it happened like high school where bitches was calling niggas daddy in the, in the hallway and i was confused as fuck bro so then after that daddy's just been weird like i can't say daddy the same no more bro it just sound weird y'all call y'all daddy daddy or y'all call him papa i call him my pop's daddy why did you even say it like that how did y'all sexualize the words mommy and daddy now i can never call my mother mommy so the fact that you could look at a girl on tiktok and the first thing you think of is mommy is next level if sigmund freud Yuck. was still alive i swear he'd be rubbing his hands of how he was correct if you're over the age of 30 and still calling woman mommy i want you to go to the bathroom look at the mirror and self-reflect and ask yourself how you managed to get this far and now we have another <laughs> crazy phrase who gonna stop me this one hasn't been used That's as much speed. but we still have to to talk about it originally speed. popularized by i show speed when talking to ash cash say if we the last two people on earth and we had to reproduce to make the world continue hey yo you, i um, can't even show this right me? no because that means our kids who will have to i will who's gonna stop me if we the last two people on earth who gonna stop me isn't that what got him banned i want y'all to keep it a buck is it justifiable or y'all think it's an l ban Okay, I ain't gonna lie, y'all dick riding. He literally just said he was going R word her. He ain't say it though. And that's the same thing as saying it. He implied it. What the fuck? What do you mean? <laughs> Who gonna stop me? As you could tell, it's referring to the R word that rhymes with tape. Now look, I show speed was a minor, which doesn't make it okay, but has some weight. But as a grown man telling a woman who gonna stop me, you're literally insinuating that you're gonna force yourself upon her. I don't know if I have to be a relationship counselor or something, but it might not be the brightest idea telling girls that nobody could stop them if they were the only two people on earth. Now a more acceptable term, but it's still being used it's a, a lot joke. is the term munch. It's a joke, but behind the joke, you know, it's still there. If you don't know what a munch is, it's basically someone that performs oral activities. This term was popular popularized by ice spice you know the artist we only clap for if she turns around and starts twerking yeah her no, i'm just playing she's actually fire yo ice spice please hit me up see me personally i'm not a much but put whoever's behind me right next to me and guess what yes i'm turning into nico avocado see i barely use the That's word it. munch when i'm eating food so if you guys want to take this word away and use it sexually by all means go ahead but please stop using words like mommy we need that to actually address our family but that concludes <laughs> the term and i know what some of y'all are thinking sala when did you turn into a cupcake Why why are you such a snowflake? If calling out these type of weird comments on children makes me a snowflake, then tis the season. If anything, I'm putting y'all on game. If you guys want the hoes, then stop using these words. It's not gonna work, little bro. It's patched ever since it was released.